hey what's up youtube family welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you haven't already be sure to like and subscribe to the channel also if you want to support the channel the links to our website and cash app are in the description we want to say thank you for the continual support that you guys have been showing towards the channel um drop those comments below they really encourage us if you want to book me for one-on-one -on -one coaching um, the link to that is in the description and it's also in the first comment I want to talk about the poverty mindset I've had the um, privilege to start several businesses and um, what I've noticed is that it's two different mindsets that I typically come across I usually come across the poverty mindset or I come across the abundance mindset. God wants good things for his children, right? In the book of Matthew, it talks about how if we being evil know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more would the father give to those who ask him? God is saying we are evil from birth when we are born with the sin nature and we still with our evil nature desire good things for our children. So how much more would a perfect being who is perfect in every way want for his children? So I think people have to understand that God wants good things for us, not bad things. The abundance mindset says that I can be well spiritually, I can be well financially, I can be well in my health, I can be well mentally, I can be well relationally. God wants us to prosper in every area of life and so the church has done, I think, a bad job overall of preaching a holistic approach to the gospel. Like, it's like when you go into churches, typically it's like spiritual things, spiritual things, spiritual things. But it's all spiritual because if I'm praying three hours a day, but I'm broke and can't help the poor, how is that glorifying God? If I pray three hours a day, but my relationships are not well, how is that glorifying God? God wants every area of our life to be successful. People often ask me, why do you charge for your coaching sessions? Why do you charge for your consulting? If you lead a church, then it should be free. And this is the way I typically answer that question. That's a poverty mentality because the abundance mentality says, if you are providing value to me, then I should pay for that service. Well, McDonald's is a billion dollar corporation, but you still have to pay for their burgers when you go in. Why? Why don't McDonald's just give you every burger for free? I mean, they're a billion dollar corporation. The reason that they don't is because they understand that if they are providing value, then you should pay for that service. And so from my... Um, from my perspective and from my experiences, I noticed that when people have the poverty mindset, they feel like everything should be given to them for free. You know, grace is a free gift from God. He had to pay for it. Jesus paid for it. He gave his life. So yeah, it's free to us, but he had to pay a price. Somebody got to pay that price. I think it has a lot to do, and, and I, I don't want to get too pol and Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and uh, people are given a place to stay and they don't have to pay for it. People are given food and they don't have to pay for it through housing and food stamps and different programs. Some people really do need them things, but for a lot of people, it creates a mindset within them that feels like everything should be given to them. That's why the Bible says fate without work is dead. That means that even though we believe things are gonna happen, God still expects us to put in the work, right? I'm gonna do a string of videos about the poverty mindset and just stay tuned, man, because I was talking to a person today and they could not understand why I charge for my services. Now, with my people that I lead, that I pastor, I'm there for them when they need me and, and, and I shepherd them, right? But, but that does not mean that they get my 24 hours. If, if you wanna sit with me and talk for hours at a time, you got to pay for that because I understand that my time is valuable, just like Jesus did. When when Jesus walk around, people always try to, hey, Jesus, come do this, come do that. And Jesus say, listen, I got to work while it is day because night is coming when no man can work. In other words, my time is limited. So I can't, 
I have to be very careful with how I use it. When you on purpose, when you on mission, your time becomes very important to you. And, I, and, and, and what I've seen is that people who have a poverty mentality, they don't value time. They don't value time. But when you have the abundance mindset and you have resources and, and you have purpose you're going towards, every minute matters. David said in the book of Psalms, Lord, teach us to number our days. And so I want to encourage you guys with that thought. Don't feel bad for knowing your value and knowing what you're worth. Know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and God has great things in store for you. Have an awesome day, guys.